Why are you so tense, god damn it? Because I don't know what I'm doing! Calm <laughs> down. Hello everybody, it's Philly Cuts with another unboxing. And today I have the Sony PS3 Media Blu-ray Disc Remote Control. This is an official PlayStation PS3 product. You can use it for your TV. Even if it isn't a Sony TV, you can use it for your PlayStation 3D display, which I have right here that you can see. See how glossy it is? Well, that's only because I have lights on, but anyway. You can also use it for amplifiers, but for the amplifiers, there's a caveat. It can only be successful with amplifiers if it is, in fact, a Sony amplifier. It will not work for other company um, sound amplifiers, you know, such as Bose things of that nature. So, I got this mainly because I have, as you can see, the PlayStation 3D display. Now the problem is with this display, the volume buttons, well A, it didn't come with a remote, and B, the volume buttons are behind the TV. Like they're not in the front, you know, like down here in the front where most would be. Volume up, volume down, they're actually in the back of the TV, which is very, very annoying. All the volume buttons and all the menu buttons, anything that has a button, it's on the back of the unit. And it's very, very annoying, very, very hard to get to. So I needed a remote. And this retails for $25. You can use it with Netflix. It has um, a 3D, 2D toggle switch. And it also has a 15-second fast forward and back button which is kind of cool because if you ever see a part in a movie that you really like some dialogue you can switch it back on the fly all right i'm gonna open this up real quick so let's do this my trusty scissors we have your instruction manual and it's pretty thick it's probably written in multiple languages i imagine french spanish and this up uh, there she is sony nicely included two triple a batteries we'll open up the back of the unit oh interesting it goes one on top of the other instead of side by side so this operates under two signals it operates under bluetooth which is for the ps3 for the operation of the ps3 and also an infrared signal that can be used for different types of television sets and um, AV amps, Sony AV amps. Okay, so to set this up, we're going to go to our settings. And you want to go to settings on your XMB. And then scroll down to accessory settings. And you're going to want to go down to register BD remote control. So what you have to do is you have to press the start and the enter button on the remote. So here's the enter button here in the center and here's the start right here. So let's simultaneously press that. Hold down until the screen changes. Okay, now it's registering and it's complete. It says register completed, it's registered to controller 7 and the charge level. Thankfully, they gave me batteries that work. Sweet. Okay, so we hit O, back, and as you can see, this works pretty fine as expected. We're back. Now, let's see how Netflix works. This is the button right here, the 3D button. You can toggle between 2D and 3D. It works fine just like it should. Just hitting the enter here, like this. Let me see if I go into Netflix, what will happen here. So we're going to Married with Children. I wonder if these buttons only work with only work with the DVD. Oh no, there we go. See, you just have to push this button and it will scroll forward just like this. And basically this is just like the controller, like the um L L3 joystick here. You can go completely through just like this. 
Just hit circle to back out. Okay, guys, I'm going to pop in a uh, disc, a DVD, actually. It's not a Blu-ray. I don't have any Blu-rays. <laughs> All right, I'm going to throw this on mute real quick. There we go. It's muted. But like I was saying before, the thing with using your PS3 controller that, you know, it works, it functions as a remote control, but you have to do, like, multiple steps. So you would have to hit the triangle button first, and then that accesses your menu here, and then you would have to scroll through and do all this, you know, finding and looking here for this stuff. You know, I mean, it's not like a major deal breaker, and I don't want to seem like I'm so lazy that it annoys me, but let's face it, it does take longer than if you just have the remote and you have the dedicated buttons to uh, do the, the different stuff. So this takes away that, you know, unnecessary step of having to, you know, put in the triangle button. Uh, another great thing about using the remote controller as opposed to the game controller is you're going to save battery life on this here, the game controller, because you're not going to be constantly starting it on and off or leaving it on to use as a remote controller. So you'll save battery life, man. More time to game. So let's see. Here's the instant key that should scroll ahead 15 seconds. I don't know if you could see it, but in the bottom left hand corner, it shows a circle with an arrow and a 15 and it just blasts through 15 second intervals. And you can actually, if you keep pressing the buttons multiple times, it increases in 15 second intervals. So it will go from 15 to 30 to 45 to 60, I think all the way up to 105, I believe. So pretty cool. It's for subtitles, English, off, English. And you can hit your display button and it gives all the features of what the video is like. 5.1 sound, chapter two. Back to the menu. If you hit it again, it will go back to the movie. So you can hit the menu button once. It goes to the menu here. Hit it twice again. It goes right back to where you left off in the movie. So it's got cool things that, you know, you may not find in another remote control. Like I said, I needed it for the volume control on my 3D display. And there you can see the volume. Probably looks crooked, but before I had no way to raise the volume on this thing because it didn't include a remote. Shame, 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 Sony, but, you know, it worked because they got me to buy the controller. But now I can increase the volume from the comfort of my bed. So I'm pretty stoked. All right, guys, it's been Philly Cuts with the unboxing and overview of the PS3 Media Blu-ray Disc Remote Control. Thanks for watching, as always, and peace.